Let's take a tour of the AppDynamics application dashboard. After watching this video, you will be ready to navigate the application dashboard. This will provide you great access to performance information of your application. When you log in, you will first see the home screen of the controller. Here you see the application mapped to this controller. In this case, both test and production applications are monitored by the controller. In this example, we have one application. Once we select and drill down into a single application, we are looking at the application dashboard. This is the view we are going to explore. We can see our application structure, as well as the general health status of each component. On the upper right, we can set the time range. Note that the default value is the last 15 minutes. These are the tiers of your application. The color of the circle indicates the health status of the tier. The number inside indicates how many nodes are under this tier. Click on any of the tiers to get more information about the tier. For example, you can see that this tier had one critical health rule violation in the past 15 minutes. Now we switch to the node tab in the tier detail pop-up. Click on the node icon and we will jump into that node's detailed dashboard. See that this has the same structure as the application dashboard that we were just looking at, but this dashboard is only for one particular node. Notice the left-hand navigation menu now indicates we have moved from the application dashboard page to the UI001 node dashboard page under the server's app servers menu. All the dashboard views are structured in a similar manner, so once you get used to them, it is easy to locate the information you are looking for no matter where you are. Now let's go back to the application dashboard and explore things further. In many cases, you may want to focus on your particular portion of the application. For example, you might be interested in the Java customer interface part of the application, but not interested in the .NET backend administration. For such a case, the whole application-wide flow map may be too busy and cluttered with information that you are not needing. In this case, you can easily create a custom flow map that only shows you what you are interested in. It works like this. Let's say that you are in charge of one of the tiers, so you want to create a flow map that only contains that tier. To create a new flow map, click Default Flow Map just under the Dashboard tab. Choose Edit Current Flow Map and the Configure Flow Map pop-up appears. Go ahead and give your flow map a name. Click the Show Only Specified Tiers checkbox and add the tiers of interest. Now your new flow map is available under My Flow Maps. Alright, let's turn our attention to the Events section. AppDynamics reports an event when something interesting or important has happened. For example, the JVM crashing, a health rule violation, or a server restarting. As such, the events area is useful to quickly assess if there are any recent issues to be aware of. Looks like right now there are some health rule violations occurring, as well as a few code issues. You can click on any of the items to get your troubleshooting started. Various health statuses are visually presented here, and of course, you can drill down on any of them for specifics. Service endpoints are similar to business transactions, except they report metrics only at the entry point and do not track metrics for any downstream segments. You can set one up to see the metrics specific to the service you are responsible for, rather than those for the entire business transaction or tier. At the bottom, we have the key performance indicator graphs. The graphs show load, average response time, and errors for the time range. You can hover over any point to see the precise metric at a certain point in time. And if any of the metrics concern you, click the blue metric number to see details of the metric in the metric browser. Like this. Now you can overlay other metrics to analyze what's going on. Now let's take a look at other tabs on this page. Now we are looking at the Top Business Transaction tab. It's easy to identify the most critical transactions in this view. The Transaction Snapshot tab shows all the snapshots taken during the time range. You will often come here to troubleshoot performance issues. 
The Transaction Analysis tab displays application performance over the selected time range. This view is convenient in analyzing the impact of different events on the application's response time. You can drag your pointer over the histogram to bring up the summary window to view the key performance indicators and transaction scorecard. All right, that concludes our tour of the dashboard. You should now be able to navigate the application dashboard page to get some great performance information of your application. Go ahead and give it a try.